Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this very warm but slightly cloudy um, June day, July day, June day, we're doing a quick walk around video on this absolutely lovely and very desirable Compass Avant Garde 196. And now, this Avant Garde 196 we sold new to its one previous uh, very lovely and desirable owner, who we know very well. Uh, he's very cute and bought a few vans off of us and runs a uh, local garage which we use. It's been very well looked after. It's a one year old and uh, it's priced at 52.95. Can't get a new one of these today, and if you could, I dare say you'd be paying thick end plus a 60 grand more and probably waiting for nearly a year for it to turn up if it turns up due to the component shortage so if you want looking to buy a new six berth three and a half ton family friendly motorhome you probably won't find any in stock so this is definitely your next best thing in fact it's better because it's cheaper and it's here and it physically exists so compass are part of the german Owen Heimer Group. Um, they're a company based in the northeast of England, and this is the same van as the Eldest Source Quest 196. You'll also see it badged as a Majestic 196, an Envy 196, and a thousand other dealer specials. Uh, so it's a drop down bed, six berth, six seat belt, coming in at three and a half ton, which is very, very few of those out there. Based on a Peugeot Boxer with a 2.2 litre turbo diesel engine, it's done 5,000 miles from new, 7.3 metres long, only 2.2 wide. You can see looking down the side there, it's quite narrow 2.82 high to allow for the drop down bed and it's priced at 5295 and it's worth every penny of that internet price check the price of this van you'll see that it will be quite competitive uh, so 5,000 miles basically immaculate condition nothing's as new but it's very very good uh, looking good all in white it's got the factory alloys option it's got the Lux pack which is aircon and cruise and airbags and things like that Colour code door handles, minimal graphics, quite nice and modern. Double glazed windows all the way around to help to achieve um, grade 3 thermal insulation. We've got mains hook up here and uh, your leisure battery behind there. We've got a uh, lock with a burst proof door and a good magnetic catch that won't break like the plastic ones. Fridge vent for your three-way fridge freezer and a gas locker for two Calgas gas bottles, either six kilo propanes or seven kilo butanes. Around the back there's a two bike bike rack, you could extend that into three bikes or possibly even four bikes if you wanted to and there's also a reversing camera with a mirror mounted monitor with a um, camera that's mounted down there which is great for when you're reversing and when you're driving. End lounge with wrap around double glazed windows, corners of the vans all in good condition. This van's just had an engine service and is mechanically ready to go. It just needs a habitation service uh, for whoever buys it. We've got a roof-mounted Tolico digital compatible TV aerial. Fresh water fill-up point here. Waste drain tanks for your uh, fresh and waste water. And uh, the little flue for your gas and electric powered heating system there. Toilet cassette locker there. And... Hmm another mains hook up there so one of those will be storage maybe the other side and one will be a mains hook up there looking at the cab spec it's got all the normal stuff that you'd uh, expect so we've got leather gear, gear, gear stick and steering wheel which is part of the Lux pack 140 horsepower engine instead of the entry level 120 that some other manufacturers use with the eco pack auto stop start which you can disable if it annoys you electric windows electric mirrors uh, Bluetooth DAB stereo system with steering wheel controls, air conditioning, leather gear stick and uh, heated wing mirrors, cruise control and uh, some attachments there to attach your phone in via a cable and play music from your phone or stream stuff like that basically. Um, so or maybe not stream, maybe you have to plug in your cable to actually play music from your phone on this year. The condition of the outside is spot on really, she's all good. So let's have a little look at the inside. So it's a very British van this, it's got a big comfortable lounging space. So we've got a big front lounge with four seat dinettes and four seat belts going on. Opposite a side sofa, twin swivel cab seats, you've got your mirror mounted monitor for the reversing camera up there. I think this has got auto headlights as well but don't hold me to that. Now we've got an end lounge at the back, very very light modern cabinet work, very on trend. And above, so this area makes a double bed simply by dropping the table down. And then above that, we've got a drop down electric bed. So just press a button, down she comes. Wallop, 
Now you've got a really good bed that you can keep made up with a nice mattress and a ladder for getting into it. So you've got double bed there, double bed there. It's time to go to bed, just press the up button. As long as you've got enough battery power, they are quite battery hungry these, so if you're a bit low on battery power, just uh, turn the engine on just to top it up a bit. Obviously you're fine if you're hooked up to the mains or if you've got a solar panel fitted or whatever. And that's your back up again. Over the cab, we've got bits of storage up there, which I find quite practical instead of the panoramic roof lights. We've got plug points, light switches up there, spotlights underneath the bed. Nice kitchen, flip up bit of extra workspace there. Oven, grill, and then four, three gas burners. Yeah, three gas burners on top. Another couple of main sockets there, plenty of plug sockets. I like the individual drawers for all your kitchen equipment. Under counter fridge freezer. It's a good size, big enough. And a nice deep sink with a clip on draining board just to go on the side of it there. At the back there's a box with the carpets in, I don't think they've ever been down. And a nice comfortable twin sofa lounge with wraparound opening windows and a large skylight with nice up lighters, curved two-tone cabinet work. This just pulls together to make a double bed and you've got a flip up little occasional table there. Good size wardrobe. This is an infill cushion for the front double bed. If you're not using the downstairs bed at the front, you can leave that at home. You've got your TV aerial pole in there. We've got another free standing table that you can either put outside or you can put it back here. So you can have people dining at the front, the back, and loads of people. More individual drawers, which are really, really good. That's your TV adapter bracket there. And we've got a concertina blind that will pull across to there. Bathroom's just a wet room, nothing overly exciting, but it's a nice bathroom, hello. Uh, Freestanding basin, normal set of toilet, eco-friendly, um, water-saving um, shower head, and a good sized vanity unit with a screen to stop your toilet getting wet, and a blown air heater thing in there. Nice mirror there for doing your hair, whatever, before you go out, and spot on condition. Not had a dog in it, I can tell, not been smoked in not been knocked about it's a nice thing so this is at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch it will sell very very quickly this one in furnace to it nice big high level kitchen cupboards as well as you can see it's a Compass Avangard 196 it's a 2021 it's one year old it's done 5,000 miles now we are just south of Exeter on the South Devon Expressway that's us there um, near Newton Abbott very easy to get to that's the phone number 01626 832 792 if you struggle to get through on that feel free to use the mobile number 07432 662 558 or contact us through the Highbridge Caravans website about our lovely 2021 Compass Avant Garde 196 thank you very much goodbye